Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World! I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, we uh, unlocked the mermaid form, completed Laura's quest, and, uh... found a new region I wasn't hugely fa fond of up to the north, where everything was made of meat, and most of the things there were looking at me. Yeah, just let that one settle for a moment. Shout out to Yornick, who uh, suggested that a surprise twist will reveal that the tree on the banners is actually the king's true form. And adds, it's about bloody time games stopped using disappearing loot. Gold bricks or huge gems blinking into nothingness in half a minute get real annoying real fast. You know, I can't really argue with that. Really? No reaction from this face? The mermaid and all that? Okay. Why is this one just brown and that one's all fancy colors? Wait, is this supposed to be a peahen? Because they don't have the giant fan of colors, they're just brown. They have much smaller tails, because they're the ones the fancy colors are supposed to be impressing. I'm heading back to the original region. Oops. To, uh... Well, to go for a swim in this water here, actually. How did I miss that? That looks like I just go there with the, uh, rat. Ow. Ow. You shitlord. Hey! Consume 2. Restore more health with consume. Rest consuming baddies restores health. Most of the way to 9 now. Consume 3. Kill baddies damaged by consume. That's different. Look at that! I found 4 out of the 5 mana fairies, and I've just... It's just clued into me that this quest is called Mana Fairies 1, which probably means there's more. I did think it was weird that I was already finding so many of them. Okay, first, up here. Oh, yeah! Well, there's your damn problem. Delicious loot. Well, that's better. South Sea Level Seven. Look at that. Aha! I knew there'd be something behind the uh, the waterfall. That's one of the developers. Ooh, money. Ooh, more money. And a token. Money, tokens, food, and more money. Nothing behind this waterfall, though. Or this one. Those are just decorative. Well, I'm very pleased about that. This expedition has already gotten, uh positive result. There's my house. It's the crappiest of, uh, sheds. Uh, let's see. She doesn't have any legs, which means she doesn't have any pants. Uh, and the slug is, of course, naked. Crap. I still don't have any goddamn pants. If I were a wizard, I'd want to be transforming all the time. Who wants to be just one thing? Dull people, that's who. I couldn't possibly agree more. Uh, 
Oh, isn't there something about... A horseshoe you hang on the wall is either good luck or bad luck, depending on whether it's right side up or upside down. I think you're supposed to hang them up the other way, so that it looks like a U. I thought the idea was that it fills up the luck from bottom to top. And if you put it up that way, it all just falls out the bottom. Huh. I couldn't possibly... <laughs> what if I just walk back in here? Huh, Randy's not here. Right, of course, I forgot about that. I came out there, that door in the corner, didn't I? Oh, hey, the dolphin! Or whatever that is. Porpoise. I am not going to attempt to pronounce a row of E's with alternating capitals and lowercase. But, uh... I don't know what I was expecting. But yeah, that's actually a pretty good way of writing out a dolphin noise. Haha, <laughs> there's an actual rope with bowies blocking off the uh, the, way, the bottom of the map. I like that. Hey, what the fuck is this? Necromancer. That'll be a fun one to unlock. Well, that skull over there is level 28, so I'm not sure I actually want to do this, but I think I could get through there by using the bubble splash to hit that. Nope. Fair enough. Wait. Oh, those are gills under her, uh, <clears throat> uh seashells. Not under, under, just, uh... Below the, her, below the seashells on her torso are a bunch of uh, lines I thought were just, like, sagging fat. It's like, oh no, of course those are gills, because those should really be on her neck. Never mind, she does have gills on her neck. She's got double the gills. I mean, I'm sure she's got a very nice personality. <laughs> and the joke is that she does actually have really nice, long black hair, although it is a bit, uh clumpy, which I guess makes sense, given that she lives in the sea. Wait. No, that's not a crown, that's a seashell in her hair, right. What about up here? Oh, what the hell, my throat is not going to like me for this, but... No, I can't do that. I just can't do the... The, 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 the really rapid-fire noise they make, where they, like... It sounds like someone is holding onto their vocal cords and shaking them. Dolphins are weird, man. The stuttering sound effect. I can't even roll my R's, man. Despite the, uh, the Tim Hortons commercials suggesting that every Canadian, and only every Canadian, can roll their R's. She thought it was really funny when they did the one where, uh, the guy at the, uh, the fucking border crossing was asking people coming through to prove they were Canadian by saying the phrase, roll up the rim to win. And they had the obvious American who was trying to get in without a passport, who was just saying, uh, roll up the rim roll! That's doing it completely wrong. Such a baffling commercial doing. Well, this is another lever. I'm guessing I'm not supposed to be here either. Fair enough! Oh, that's how. I could go through. No, not there. That's a different place entirely. Oh my. Maybe that is where I'm meant to be going. Head out in this general direction here and end up at the Moltopia dungeon for Night Temporary. Well, fuck it. I've got nothing better to do.
That's a cactus. Okay, walking into the cactus does not actually hurt me. That's good to know. It's just another, you know, regional decoration. Fuck. Another of these damned walls with the uh, switch on the wrong side. This one's even got barbed wire wrapped around the spike wall. Where the fuck am I meant to be going? Did I go in there? No, I went in here. She looks like she wants a hug in this image. And I've just realized the slug is knocking his eyes back and forth as if they are uh, a Newton's cradle. It's a thing businessmen with too much money put in their desks, or it's the hanging balls that clack back and forth. It's called a Newton's cradle, if you aren't familiar with the term. I am not. So shout out to Justin Jones, who leaves a comment saying, uh, I wonder if the monsters in a dungeon repop after a while. For example, the Diablo games have that feature. Speaking of Diablo, and you made me think of this, and you mentioned Diablo 2, Diablo 4 is almost completely blind accessible. For example, they added full TTS support to the game's menus and such. Uh, controller support is also a thing. However, there are a couple of key features that are missing so that people like myself can play it, e.g. Nav Assist. Without Nav Assist, I could be running around in the same area and not know how to leave it unless I stumble across it by pure chance. The upcoming Mortal Kombat 1 is, from what I can tell, fully blind accessible. Netherrealm learned from Mortal Kombat 11 that you need more than just spoken menus for true accessibility. None of the move lists in that game had any sort of narrated text-to-speech support. A major oversight, pun intended. Netherrealm even took it a step further with Mortal Kombat 1 by adding audio-described fatalities. Fucking wild. And I agree with that assessment. That's kind of crazy go nuts, and I uh, kind of like it. <laughs> audio-described fatalities. Scorpion grabs him by the throat and rips his head clean out of his chest, taking his spine with it. That's what the, uh, the described video channel, uh, sounds like, anyway. Or, you know, someone will say something, and then the, uh, the narrator will add, He rolls his eyes sarcastically. But doing that for fatalities... <laughs> hard in the wrong direction. Quest complete! Hit enemy- hit baddies with water burst. Rinder, hold right trigger to lock your direction. Yeah! Unlocked. Tail swipe! Ooh, it looks like it's got spikes on it in that picture. Swing your tails at baddies and push yourself towards them. Does 30 base damage, costs 25 mana. Or mana, however you want to say that. Level up! Water burst 2, hold and release A to knock baddies back with water burst. Mermaid's Resolve. Recover mana with Mermaid's Resolve by taking damage. That's right, I forgot about that. Tail Swipe 1. Flop around on land with Tail Swipe 50, 15 times. Well, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, it moves you forward as you do it. And that one counted, sure. Yeah! 
Yeah! Give me mana. my quest when I take damage. Oh boy. Wait. No, I can't tell what those projectiles are meant to be. They have a seam on them, but... It's like it's just a pink wrinkled ball. Well, unless they're shooting testicles at me, but it seems very unlikely given the design of the monster. Yes, Brain. Thank you. More testicles means more iron. This is the perfect association for a association. The perfect moment for a uh, Simpsons reference. Okay, uh, questing is one thing. I'm getting my ass kicked. Rat! Ah! that thing I wanted to explore. Even though my hit points are inexcusable here. Huh. Oh, interesting. I get mana back even for hitting, like, random crap in the environment. Oh, it's a hammer with legs! And he's just smashing his face into the ground over and over and over again. Hey, buddy! You okay over there? I didn't even notice the eye. Marty Joe. Fink! Damn! Fink! What do you want? My problem? I finally find the missing stone piece, but it's guarded by monsters! That's my problem! And it's not like it can be solved with a wave of a magic wand! <laughs> That's how I got into this mess in the first place! Wait a second. That's no ordinary wand! Ha! Maybe we can help each other! Before you say no, let me repair that wand of yours. It's working at half capacity. I know a thing or two about magic and transformations. Let me see here. Don't move. Oh boy. There, fixed it. I was really hoping he was just gonna like hold out, gingerly hold out his hand, but no, it was the same animation of smashing the floor. There, fixed it. In you go. Oh, I didn't even get to say yes or no or anything. So you know all of these forms you can transform into? Now they can be customized with abilities from other forms. Oh no. And I'm getting a bunch of quests. Wait, I can mix and match. That's what you're telling me. Now I gotta ask you. Why are you a nobody? Will you please press back and swap to another form? Wait, wait, quests, quests. I thought I unlocked a shitload of quests or something, but they were behind that guy's text thing, so I couldn't see what they said. Oh. More rat quests. Sharpen claws, hit baddies with sharp damage. Oh. Oh, that's what they mean. Like I would swap out the element of, sh of uh, dark for s sharp on my uh, attacks as a 
Custom 1, 6 specimen. Poison baddies faster with a ranger's poison tipped passive. That's a quest? Try customizing your form. First press back to open the equip menu, then select a slot and press A to customize. I can give the rat arrow flurry. Oh, that's sharp damage anyway. I don't seem to have access to any of their standard attacks, as they say. Uh, signature abilities are locked and cannot be swapped. Achieve an unlocked fine form. Customize a form for the first time, and the, I can see that the image is the rat wearing sunglasses. Oh wow, I can even swap out consume if I wanted to. I mean, that would be stupid. I need consume for the quest, but... Hmm, not bad, rookie. Okay, now use that customized form to help me get that stone! Oh, right, and, uh, poison. Poison. I forgot about the passives. Uh, poison tipped, all your attacks build plus 19 poison. That's the one they were talking about. Oh, right. You did it! Thanks for helping me out. The stone piece is mine! Keep leveling up and you'll unlock even more ability slots. A new passive slot unlocked right now, actually. You should check that out. I'm Marty Joe, by the way. I have a personal score to settle with the one that cursed me. The Dark Wizard Astrolabus. Oh no! Damn! Damn, damn! Where'd the rock go? This isn't the missing piece at all! I'm looking for a one with a wedge shape, like a triangle with symbols carved on it. This... this is just a rock! Oh. You alright, buddy? I'm busy! Ow. Well, he didn't actually hurt me, for the record, but... Oh god, that's why there's that icon up there, because it's quests I can't see. Because, Oh, that's what the filter is. It, uh, only quests for this form. So the quests I haven't been looking at are... Let's see, for the knight. Dark knight, hit baddies with dark damage. Custom one, flower knight, recover mana with horses horsepower passive. I knew it! Uh, shit. Oh, upgrade, yeah, I'll look at it in here. Horsepower. Signature moves restore 4 plus extra mana when used to break objects. I thought that was really weirdly specific, instead of just saying, you know, kickback restores plus 4 extra mana. So yeah, I would give that to, uh, the, I give horsepower to the knight, not the knight, the guard, so that all of his attacks would restore a mana if he breaks shit with him. No, no, let me see the quests. Ranger, custom one, let me be blunt. Hit enemies, hit baddies with blunt damage. Custom one, hard slug, hit baddies with blunt damage. Custom one, ranger rations, regenerate mana with rats scavenge. Custom one, rad, rat, ratula. Recover mana with horses horsepower. Rad, radula? Well. Oh my god, they're, they, I, I didn't think they do the animation, but a little bow actually appears in front of the rat when he does that. I kind of just thought it would just be, you know... He doesn't have an animation when he does that, it's just the teeth that move. I had a feeling that would leave me somewhere important. Yeah, they really wanted to make sure I went into this cave and learned about customizing forms. Yeah, the ancient robot, which will be ten fucking levels higher than the, uh... The dead dragon over here. Ooh. 
Well, this has just added a whole new level of complicated to this game, hasn't it, Burning Dog fans? Well, the timer has gone, so before we go to explore this new land... Did it say what it was called? No. Oh, yes it did! Desert Pass. We'll explore this desert pass on the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. And who knows what we'll see. And who knows what we'll do now that our abilities can be mixed and matched. But uh, until then... I'll see you next time, Burning Dog fans. Later! Later!